we're here in pin two here. Uh, we're going to start off with this 20-7 crossbred guilt. Uh, she would be a testify, last minute, uh, no intro, never before. Uh, so that her mom, uh, this is her first litter. Uh, this is a show guilt that Michaela had there last summer. Uh, she was second in, in a very tough class there at Illinois. Um, and then, like I say, this is her first litter. Uh, the the uh, no intro, never before sow was one that I purchased from uh, tr uh, Trace Amigos there, which goes back to the old uh, never before Eclipse Visionary line that's been a, a very vital part of their success in the crossbred ring. Uh, I'll be straightforward. I really do not want to sell this guilt. Uh, <laughs> she, she's one I like a lot, but uh, if you're going to bring something out to a live sale like this, you got to bring bring something that makes you uncomfortable to sell, and I think this one does that. Yeah, I mean, this guilt drops in. And it's like, wow, instantly. I mean, uh, that one's unique. I mean, she's built uh, like one as we talked. I mean, elite, elite show guilt, I think. I mean, her proportions, her length of body, I mean, you get up on top of her. That one's got a monster square blade set and a square pin set and a big square round back. And I love her rib shape, uh, I think, and just uh, that total dimension she carries down low through her flank, I think, is very, very neat. And, and you put one that's got that big of a leg and a big forearm, and yet her pasturings are just so, so good, I think. And one that uh, I, I think is you do put pounds on her, you're not going to have to worry about her up front. She's going to stay right there. I think she's got a unique bendy hind leg, and, 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 I mean, she's got hair falling off of her, and I think that'll be unique when she gets, when she does get mature. But for that one to come at you, I mean, her skull, the shape to her skull, I think, is unique uh, to be that good looking from the side and, and to be built like that. I mean, that one doesn't look to me like she should have that kind of skull put in her, but she does. I mean, I think if you're looking for one to show guilt, I think if you're looking for an elite breeding piece, uh, I mean, this one's got sow written all over. I mean, to me, her true value is going to take her home and put her in a gestation barn because I think this one could make you some very, very high-selling uh, crossbred barrows next spring. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then this Chester Barra here, uh, he would be uh, – uh, that his notch would be 21-2, so he would be a, a WD-40 uh, Delta – back on perfect fit sister so this is his mom's first litter as well uh this should have been a show guilt uh, that uh, michaela showed last summer she was uh, uh reserve uh, reserve land lincoln chester guilt there at illinois and then uh the bobel crew showed a litter mate bear that won his class as well so uh i i know this pig uh, kind of looks a little skinnier and greener to some maybe but i'm telling you the way his mom fed uh, th I think that's the way they need to look at this size uh, for, for a Chester male, I mean, to to be there in terms of uh, the right maturity pattern in the end. So I like this one a lot. Yeah, I mean, this one steps in here, and, uh, I mean, instantly I think uh, he's I think he's just unique for a Chester, to be honest with you. I mean, that thing's linked the neck, and, and, and just the way he ties his blade into his neck there I think is very unique for that breed. Uh, I mean, that is a pretty – elevated i love that pig's just uh his build i think's incredible but i think uh when you when you study that hog he is a bigger greener pig like like uh he talked and i think that one can withstand some uh some heat when you want to get into him with the feed bucket i think you'll be able to set on him when you want to and i think when you need him to go i think you'll be able to push some feed in that one i think his skeleton's good enough that he'll handle it so i, I mean i think midwest state fair time this one here will be a be a big time player Yep, for sure. So the pin two, uh, we got the 21-2 Chester male and 20-7 cross guilt. 